Okay guys, Mubeen again we are talking about microbiology second lecture gram staining. So again a very important lecture and very simple lecture as well. So the what is the mechanism of the gram staining? I think you all have done the lab so you know what is the mechanism. So let me very quickly explain it. The mechanism is that you take a slide, on that slide you put the bacteria. If it was from an agar plate or from an agar you would dilute that agar, put it on the plate. Then what you would do is, so this is one. Second step is you will warm the plate so that you can fixate the bacteria underneath. So this is the little warm, so warm the plate. Third is that you, you add the gram stain on it, gram dye is put on it. So let us say this was the bacteria. So here you put the slide like this and you pour the gram dye. Now about 20 to 30, so this, this would take 20 to 30 seconds and then what you do is in the step number 4, you, you pour, so of course you keep washing. So you have done this, you wash it, you have done this thing, you put the gram stain on it, you wash it 20, 30 seconds later, then you put alcohol on it, ethanol or alcohol. So again you keep the slide at, a, at an angle, you pour alcohol on it, that should also wash out the gram negative bacteria color and I will explain in a second why that happens. And then you once again, so this 20 to 30 seconds, 20 to 40 seconds of alcohol drops, you would pour on this and finally you will put saffronine, you will put saffronine counter stain to for another 20 to 40 seconds. One thing that I forgot here after the gram dye before the alcohol, you are going to put iodine. It is a mordant, what it does is it fixes the dye. So 4, 5 and 6. So the question is what happens out of this, after this if it is a gram positive bacteria it would be turning up purple, if it is a gram negative bacteria it will be red. So now let us see, let us make a gram positive and a gram negative bacteria and see what happens during this course of action. So this is the gram positive bacteria's plasma membrane. This is gram negative bacteria's plasma membrane, so lipid bilayer, phospholipid bilayer. On top of that we know that on the gram positive bacteria we have lipotychoic acid which is it can have up to why did I say lipo peptidoglycan. So this is plasma membrane, this is peptidoglycan layer and you know that this can be up to 60 layers and here periplasmic space and up to 3 layers. What is in the, what is the most important thing in the periplasmic space? Beta lactamases, right? The enzymes sit here that can break down the penicillin. That is why penicillins are not that effective for the gram negative. They have been lots of molecular changes for the penicillins and they have made them more uh, better for the gram negative. That is what cephalosporines are. But if pure penicillin comes in here, there are beta lactamases that sit here and they, they break them. So now this is the peptidoglycan. Then on top of this one, we have gotten and I am going to make a lipopolysaccharide here. Okay, so this is outer membrane outer membrane, this is periplasmic space, 
spaces around these two layers and this is the plasma membrane. Now, the question is what happens with the gram stain? So, let us see when you when you put the grams dye, the dye is small molecules, these molecules come and get trapped into the peptidoglycan layer. Here the molecules are going to get trapped here and then finally, they will fall here and they will also be in the peptidoglycan. So, at this point after putting the gram dye on the gram positive and negative, if you see through the microscope they both would look purple. So, there is no difference with the positive or negative, the both are purple at this stage. So, here the color is purple for both of them. Then what you do is you put iodine on it. What happens is when you throw the iodine out, iodine would come and attach with these. The difference is that these the gram dye is negative and the iodine is positive. So, it comes in and creates a bigger molecule that is what mordants are. Mordants are dye fixers. They come and they make the molecule of a dye big and when the molecule becomes big, it becomes difficult for that mole molecule to move away from there. So, this is the iodine right mordants. So, now the dye has molecule has become bigger. Again if you see here after putting the iodine you see the slide again, the color is still purple, color is not changed. It says that the dye has now become fixed inside the bacteria. Then you bring out alcohol. What alcohol is going to do is it is going to dissolve the lipid portions and it is going to dehydrate the cells. So, when this cell gram positive cell is this is gram positive, this is gram negative. When gram positive are poured with the alcohol, the water content is pulled out and that causes this peptidoglycan 60 layers they get sandwiched and they get pressed. When they get pressed what happens is this whole structure becomes jammed and these big dye molecules become trapped in it. However, when you put the alcohol here on this system number one there is lots of more lipids. So, these lipids get dissolved number two there are only up to three. So, one two or three layers of the peptidoglycans. So, it is very simple to actually break those layers. So, when those breaks get those layers get broken the dye escapes even those bigger molecules they escape out. Some of them still get trapped, but most of them get out they escape. Now, if you keep pouring alcohol on it, you would actually soften this layer enough as well that you would make it colorless too. So, you have to be careful at this stage that you only pour alcohol for 30, 40 seconds or you keep putting the drops till you see the color differences. So, here now the color after the alcohol positive will be purple and what do you think is the color for the negative? No color, the dye has escaped. So, they have not become red, they have just lost their color. So, positive are purple, negative are colorless. And then finally, you put the saffron in. When you put the saffron in here on both of them, what will happen? You pour saffron in here and you pour saffron in here. This system, this cell wall and cell membrane has lost all of its dye. So, it can now take the counter stain again and bind it while this guy is all packed up with the previous dye and the dye has become mushed with it. This is not going to take it. So, saffronine is going to come in and get away while this is going to take the saffronine. Now, if you see the these things again this would stay purple and this has taken it was colorless in the last step. Now, it has taken the saffronine and it would become red. So, here positive is still purple which is understandable and negative has now become red. So, that is how the gram staining works. Thank you very much.